I made the best add-on for Blender lovers, and we're going to use it to make this animation in just five minutes. There are five main elements in this render. The phone, its disassembly, the particles, the background, and the camera animation with lighting. And the best part, we're not going to make any of them ourselves, thanks to this add-on. The add-on is called Send Nodes, and it lets you copy and paste objects from my website directly into your Blender project. It's completely free, so install it and let's get started. First, open an empty Blender scene. Go to Blender Everything and copy the orbiting camera animation, then paste it into Blender. You can remove the track object animation and center the track object. We only need the orbiting animation. Next, grab the phone template. The model is designed to look like the new iPhone, but since smartphones are getting simpler and more similar these days, you can easily tweak the cameras and make a few changes to have it look like any phone you want. The phone already comes with a disassemble animation, but let's remove it and remake it from scratch. It's very simple. If you go into edit mode, you'll see the different shapes that make up the mesh. You can even add more if you want. The inside parts are just a texture on a plane to fake all the tiny details that would normally take too long to model. If you add a new part, just make sure it stays as part of the phone object so the disassemble setup can move it along with everything else. Now, set up a new geometry nodes system. Add a set position node and a random value node to change the position of each part individually along the y-axis. Right now, the random node is working per vertex, which gives us this messy result. What we actually want is randomness per mesh island, since each phone part is its own island. So add a mesh island node and connect its island index to the ID input of the random node. This switches the randomness from per vertex to per island. Next, add a scale node to control the strength of the effect. This is what we'll animate to create the disassemble effect. Because it's random, you won't have full control over the order of parts, but you can simply change the seed value until you get something that looks good. Then just keyframe the scale and you're done with this part. Now we can bring in the particles and the background. These are elements you'll find yourself reusing again and again. And that's the whole point of the website, to make sure you never have to start from scratch. Just pick what you need for free and drop it into your design. So copy the particle setup, change it up a little, adjust the particle count, tweak the turbulence forces, or whatever settings you like. Then bake the particle system and you're good to go. Next up, let's add the background ramp. I've made a few variations for different setups, so just pick the one that fits your scene and delete the rest. Tweak the materials a bit to get the look you want and then set up some lighting. I also made sure the background ramp doesn't show up in any reflections. This way the phone looks more polished. For reflections, just add a nice reflective image in your environment. It doesn't even need to be a full HDI. Any good image will do the job. Now you can add some motion blur, do a bit of compositing, and that's your final render. That's it. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what other templates you'd like me to make to help speed up your animations.